Hey guys, up Sander. We're making a uh, brand new video. Uh, this time, I'm talking about the God Wars dungeon. What's going to be happening? Uh, keep in mind that I'm recording this on August 21st, 2013, and the God Wars dungeon is nowhere near confirmed. It is looking likely, and they said they can develop it relatively easily. Uh, if you look at uh, Mod Reach's Twitter, there's actually pictures of him fighting the different bosses and and using an AGS, so they actually do have the coding already existing within the game, because keep in mind, uh, this backup uh, of the game that we're playing is of August 2007, and God Wars came out a little bit later in August 2007. So it's not like this is a, a 2011 update that's coming into old school RuneScape, it's actually quite a, uh, a current update for the time. So where are we right now? We are in Trollheim, and you can get here with the Trollheim Teleport. Now, why would you need to get here for really anything other than some clue scrolls, quests, and stuff like that? Well, you need this because this is actually uh, the quickest way to get to get to the God Wars dungeon, which doesn't exist yet. Um, this video, it's probably just going to be a big overview of how to prepare for the God Wars dungeon, and I hope to help people of all skill levels, people who've who've never even been to the God Wars dungeon, people who've been to the God Wars dungeon for various things, you know, experts, people who know just a little bit. But the goal of this video is I want to help as many of you guys really come out on top. Because there's, when the God Wars dungeon comes out, uh, there's going to be people who are prepared, they know what they're doing, and there's going to be people who have, uh, they're just, you know, having fun, they don't really give a shit. And uh, then there's people who realize that they don't even have the quest done, they can't actually get to the God Wars dungeon. So, Hopefully you will not be one of those people of the uh, latter. Hopefully you'll be people, who, a person who has a plan, who's going to profit a lot from the God Wars dungeon, and uh, make some bank. So that, that's what pretty much God Wars is about. You can go there, and you can make money because people will buy the items that you are uh, obtaining, whether they be Addy Bars, whether they be Dragon Boots, or even a uh, an Arbanil Hilt. So um, to actually get to the God Wars dungeon, you need the quest Death Plateau done. Uh, that's for climbing boots, but doing that quest alone isn't really enough. It is technically enough, yes, but uh, to get to the Gower's Dungeon, the quickest way, if you just have that quest done, is to tell you to Burthorpe, and uh, with the game's not going to then walk all the way here, all the way around here, through the little like, caves here, uh, then all the way up to the Gower's Dungeon. This is the ice path, this is from uh, Desert Treasure, but Gower's is pretty much right here when it actually comes out. Uh, and you just go right up here and you can go to the God Wars dungeon. Now, if you do the quest, Edgar's Ruse, and leave the clan chat for a second. If you do the quest, Edgar's Ruse, over here, uh, where the fuck is it? Here we go, Edgar's Ruse. If you do this quest, you unlock the Trollheim teleport, and you also need 61 magic, which you probably should have if you're going to the Gower's Dungeon. So, while it's not a necessity, it's certainly something you really should be doing. Because uh, if you're not, it's really a long-ass walk to go from Berthorp to, uh, to Trollheim to the Gower's Dungeon. And you could save yourself the trip by just telling right here. And now it's, it's literally a 20-second walk to get down there. Uh, and the Gower's Dungeon entrance is really just right down there. So couple other things you need for the God Wars dungeon is uh, if you just run into the dungeon, just balls to the wall, just just dive right in up the uh, path up there and, and enter the dungeon, you're pretty much going to be in a lot of trouble because there's a lot of monsters in the God Wars dungeon that actually do quite a bit of damage. The idea with the God Wars dungeon, the little like story behind it is that it's from the God Wars thousands of years ago and there's all these monsters that were frozen and now they've been unfrozen and they're fighting again. Uh, but luckily for you, you can wield a a weapon or a piece of armor from each of the factions, and the, they actually won't attack you. So in the dungeon, you have Zamorak monsters you, and people. You have Zamorak, you have Saradomen, you have Bandos, and you have Armadil monsters. But if you were to wield th certain things, say I want to kill the Zamorak monsters, but I don't want all of them piling on me. Remember, there is a multi-combat area. You can just wield the little unholy Guthix book, and they won't attack you. Uh, same goes for Saradomen. Saradomen and Guthix, it's very easy to find items. There's plenty of items. There's treasure trail items. There's white armor. There's things like that. Uh, it's very easy to find. There's stoles. There's 
a lot of stuff from Treasure Trails. There's the God Capes with the, with the little mage bonus. There's the cloaks. There's so much stuff for Saradome and, and uh, Zamorak items where you can wear them and they won't attack you. Um, because this is 2007, Bandos and Armadillo get a little bit trickier. And this is really your, these are really your main ones for right now. The Ancient Mace, which is from another slice of ham. The uh, quest, which doesn't really give that good combat stats. Uh, I mean, with a Rune Defender, they're actually all right. Uh, not can be confused with the Granite Mace, which isn't in 07. The Ancient Mace, it is a Bandos item, and Bandos followers will not attack you if you're wielding this. Uh, but obviously, you don't want to be wielding this to, to kill stuff with. It's not very good. But... Um, if you're hopping around looking for an, an empty world for Bandos, this is actually going to come quite in handy. Uh, so, yeah, I would definitely check this out. And I think you can get it back for either like 1k or something. It's it's a untradeable item where you can, you can get more of it if you lose it. Um, but the same can't be said for the Armadillo Pendant. Uh, you get this from the Temple of Ikav Quest, or Ikav, whatever you want to call it, the little... A really old quest that's still in the game uh, from RuneScape Classic, where you go down to a little temple in uh, near uh, kind of Ardoin, if we can find it. Uh, here we go. There's the Temple of Akav. If you go down there, you do that quest, which is recommended you do anyway. It gives up, opens up a bunch of other quests, I think, and also a bunch of bunch of range XP. You can get the Armadillo Pendant. Now, what some people are having problems with is that if you had dropped this pendant. Uh, after the quest, you can't get it back, and if you lose it, you also can't get it back. So, I'd be very careful with this thing because if you fuck up and lose it, yet another amulet. If you fuck up and lose it, you're you're fucked. Now, the Bandos and Armadillo items, they'll actually be there'll be more of them when it comes out. There'll be the Armadillo ranging armor, the the helm, the the plate, and the uh, legs, and there'll be the Bandos. Um, tassets, boots, t and uh, chest plate, although those are going to be quite expensive, especially uh, pretty much forever, but especially when the God Wars dungeon first comes out. So if you can get all your, your hands on these items, it's actually pretty good. So I'm going to show you guys a map of the God Wars dungeon soon. Um, and if you guys want specific guides, because like I said, there's a lot of different ways you can utilize the God Wars dungeon. Uh, plenty of different monsters to kill, plenty of different bosses to kill. Um, you know, you can. I can give you guys specific guides for that. I've been using the Gower's Dungeon pretty much since it came out for different things at uh, different times. The number one, in personally, in my opinion, thing to do is to get 83 Slayer, and you still have time to do this. Because if you do that, you can kill Spiritual Mages, and Spiritual Mages drop Dragon Boots, and the drop rate is really only around 150, and they're pretty easy to kill. You, you can't really tank them, but you can pray Mage, and uh, and get you know a dragon boot you know usually one every hour or two which is not not too bad um, you can't really tank them but they're they're pretty easy to kill once you've the, the main thing is they just require 83 slayer um, of course you can go kill a boss the first day one and I'm sure most people are going to be doing that but uh, you know it's not like the drops are going to be common and especially with no summoning in the game no chaotic no overloads the Divine Spirit Shield, it, you really, if you go solo especially, you're going to get maybe a kill or, or two, especially considering it takes a long time to get kill count for some of the uh, bosses. But yeah, so I'm going to hop over to the actual actual uh, God Wars Dungeon map. So here's the map of the actual dungeon. This is where you kind of, uh, I'm on paint here so we can actually do quite a bit of fun stuff. Uh, let's take a look. This is where you are pretty much going to be entering the dungeon, as you can see from the thing. Uh, this is ripped off the actual game map from uh, from a few years ago. So when you enter here, there's actually quite a bit of mages around here. Um, you don't need a Saradoman item, but if you don't have one, you need to. Uh, I recommend you go and uh, you just pray mage, which usually is, is fine. So there's a bunch of attractions. Obviously, you have. Uh, spiritual mages, which I'll cover briefly because a lot of people don't have 83 Slayer, and I can always make a guide on those. But um, the best places to kill those are right around here. There's the Zamrak ones, and uh, also down here, there's some Saradoman spiritual mages you can kill. I think like three of them. There's also some scattered like around here to kill, which can work just fine. Uh, but those, of course, do require 83 Slayer. 
Now, these, what you notice here is that you have one huge map of the Gower's Dungeon. Um, and the only requirements to actually enter this part is either 60 Strength or 60 Agility. Um, I rem if I remember correctly, the Agility one is actually a little bit faster, but that's it's not too important. But you notice here that you have all these little places, the Bando Stronghold, Zamrak's Fortress, Saradoman Encampment, and Armadillo's Eyrie. And to enter these, they actually have more requirements. For the Zamrak one, you need, uh, let's try red, 70 HP to actually get across this uh, this thing. There's the little like bridge here, you got to swim across it. And to do that, you need seven, 70 HP, which, um, you know, most people who, who do God Wars probably have that already, but it's just something to look out for. Now, if you want to enter the Bandos one, you need 70 strength, which, uh, you know, most people are going to pretty much have that. Uh, but the, the actually more difficult thing that I find with a lot of people is you also need a hammer. Um, you need a hammer so you can little bang on the door or whatever and get in there and you know it's happened to me a billion times it's happened when I've done bandos masses in, in years past uh, people do not remember to bring hammers they'll get kill count and they'll pretty much uh, have to go back do it all over again waste 20 minutes of their life uh, so don't forget a hammer now if you want to actually kill the Zamorak boss, for example, there is imps in in here. That's usually what you'd kill for Zamorak to get. You need 40 kill count to actually enter these boss chambers. This is the stronghold, which usually just contains more of the monsters of that particular god. Um, but to actually enter the stronghold, there's actually room here, the boss room. You need 40 monsters killed of each of just the boss you want to killing. So let's say, so imps are Zamorak monsters, and let's say I want to go kill the Zamorak boss, I need to go 40 imps, and there's actually a little kill count they give you. So there's plenty of imps around here, which is fine. Uh, if you want to kill Bandos, there is goblins here, here, uh, there's also some around here. So these are actually pretty easy to get kill count for, because killing level low-level goblins and imps really isn't too difficult. Um, Moving on to Armadill, there is, you need 70 range, which is not too bad, especially if you, oh, it's a good hand right there for a second. Uh, but you also need a Mithril Grapple, and a lot of people don't even know what a Mithril Grapple, grapple is. It's kind of a little thing you just swing across things, and like you'll see in movies, people shoot it up at like roofs, and they climb up the wall. Uh, you need one of those, which I think you can make them with like a rope and like a Mithril Bar or something. Uh, but to kill... To get into the Armadillo Chamber, you need to kill 40 um, of Armadillo's monsters. Uh, the problem with that is that they're actually pretty high level. Uh, the easiest ones to kill are the Aviancies, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And that actually could take easily a half hour to, to kill 40 Aviancies. But um, the Aviancies, they are, there's some around here, which, uh, better color than that. There's some around here, which you can kill. Um, and there's also plenty around here, which w you can kill just fine. Um, Aviancies, the other thing about those is that a lot of people kill those for the drops. They drop a lot of rune things. I think rune daggers they drop a lot of. Um, and they also drop a lot of noted adamant bars, which um, can be really good money if you want to train range and get money. Uh, they're a lot better than the kind of Tazar monsters. So if you're looking to make some decent money from God Wars, uh, without having to kill a boss, and you don't have the Slayer requirement for Spiritual Mages, Aviancies are, are a serious uh, thing you can look into. So definitely check that out if you want to make some money with ranged. Although keep in mind, it's not like the price of Adamant Bars are going to increase when God Wars comes out, because there already is Adamant Bars in the game, and there has been for a long time. Whereas with Spiritual Mages, there is not D-Boots out, and when people, when the game, when God Wars comes out, People can be like, "Oh my God, D boots! I'll pay a, I'll pay a five mil for them." So that's why, uh, like doing aviancies like day one of God Wars Dungeon, you'll still make plenty of money, but it's not gonna be anything particularly special. Um, now the last and kind of most difficult one is the Saradoman encampment, 
which is over here. You go down like a waterfall. You need two ropes, although I don't think you need them every time. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure you only need to, to have the two ropes once. Uh, but the deal with that is you need 70 agility, which is by far the hardest requirement because a lot of people who do PVM and do PvP, they really don't give a shit about agility. So 70 agility definitely takes quite a while, uh, but it's good to have anyway because, especially in 2007, you need a high agility level to run around a lot and not have to keep walking. Uh, but in terms of attractions of this part of the dungeon, a lot of people do ignore it. There is spiritual mages, which if you have 83 Slayer, there's three down here which are good to kill. Uh, there's some spiritual warriors which aren't particularly good to kill, really, uh, unless you're doing a Slayer task. Um, talk a little bit about the bosses, I suppose. The Bandos Stronghold, Bandos is by far the most popular boss because you can kill him with melee mostly. It's really not worth it to, to try mage or range unless you're just like digging around or at some sort of mass. Um, the best thing they really kill him with, I, I would suppose, is a whip, unless you can actually get your hands on a god sword. Keep in mind, god swords really aren't that amazing. They just have decent special attacks. Uh, but their actual damage per minute on most monsters is actually going to be lower than a whip and a rune defender. But on the actual bosses, such as Bandos, it's actually better to have a god sword, just because their accuracy is higher. And the boss, these bosses have extremely high defense. So. If you're looking to a boss you can kill with melee and maybe even solo it and get a kill or two, uh, definitely check out Bandos. It's going to be really crowded when God Wars comes out, uh, if it comes out. So that's, uh, and also the requirement 70 strength is pretty easy. Uh, Zamorak's Fortress, the Zamorak boss is really uh, kind of annoying to kill um, because he actually hits through prayer. Basically with Bandos you're going to be praying melee and he'll use range and the minions will use other things on you. Um, but you can tank, you can just pray the the melee damage he does, and he can like, hit like 600s at, at like max hit. Um, and you can do a very similar thing with Zamrak, except that he um, can hit through the prayer occasionally when he like kind of yells out. Um, and also his drops is just the Zamrak hilt, which is extremely rare, usually 1 out of 250. And uh, also the Zamrakian spear and the steam battle staff, I think it is, which... That's kind of the reason why Zamrak's not too popular because his drops, unless you can get a hilt, which is usually worth a little bit more than Bandos, uh, his drops aren't that impressive other than, yeah, you can get a, a Zamrakian spear. They're actually not incredibly rare, and they're pretty good too. They're speed of a whip, which is more more than the uh, dragon spear, but Bandos is just more popular because he drops so many different things. He drops Bandos tassets, boots, chest plate. And of course the hilt and all of them drop shards, so that's why Bandos is typically more popular. Uh, moving on to Saradomen. Uh the thing about Saradomen, Saradomen of course has a 70 agility requirement, which immediately knocks out like 99% of players who have the um, who might have the requirements for other things. But Saradomen is really annoying to kill because you have to like loop her around because her melee attacks are if she can get up close to you. Commander uh, Ziliana, the actual boss name. They're not actually called Zamrak, Bandos, stuff like that. They actually have names. Um, if she can get close to you, you'll die pretty quickly, especially in 07. And uh, her drops are kind of like Zamrak's, where she'll drop the hilt, which is usually the most second most expensive. But uh, also Sarah Swords, which are kind of like a whip, but you can't use a Rune Defender. Um, they have the speed of whip, but they're not quite as good because there's no rune defender and they also have a, a cool special attack but it's not very good um, so Saradomen you're really going here if you're like pretty hardcore you know what you're doing you know how to loop the boss around you know how to like run around the room and not get hit by the boss uh, so Saradomen is definitely something to look into if you want to get 70 agility and you're you have good luck where you might get some Sarah swords because like I said Sarah swords and Zamoraki and Spears they're actually not too rare. They're rare, but uh, if you kill like a good 30 of Saradomen, there's actually a pretty good chance you'll get one, which is, uh, and they're going to be worth a lot. So that's Saradomen. And of course the big one everyone always talking about is Armadil. Armadil, like I said, getting kill count for this takes a long ass time. It's very difficult. Um, not difficult, but it just takes so long. And also you do need an Armadil item usually, uh, which there's only one in the game currently, the Armadil Pendant, as far as I know. And if you lose that, can't get it back, at least not yet. You know, maybe they'll implement some sort of poll where we can 
uh, change that. But as of now, yeah. And the thing about this boss is that um, Criera, he or I, I guess I don't know what gender it is, but Criera is a flying boss, kind of like the uh, giant rock boss in one of the quests, where uh, you can actually use melee or a uh, halberd. You have to either range or mage Armadale, and uh, range is usually the better option. And so you, do, you need a good range level, and also it's just a very annoying boss to kill. She'll uh, constantly push you away with different things, so uh, of course the drops are pretty good. You can get the Armadale pieces of the, uh, not Camtasia pieces, you can get the Armadale ranging armor, which isn't quite as much as Bandos, but it usually is still worth quite a lot. And of course the Armadale hilt, which will go for you know, a hundred million or two hundred million the first few days of God Wars. So, uh, it's really up to you guys what, how you guys want to utilize God Wars Dungeon. Uh, the easiest thing is by far Aviancies. You can kill them, get Addy Bars, plenty of Alkables. Um, if you're willing to really put the time in and get 83 Slayer, like I said, there's still time. Uh, I think Spiritual Mages would be the best option. Also, you get a lot of good XP from camping them too. So, it, it's definitely a win win. Uh, the kind of easiest like boss to do is Bandos, and there's a there's always a decent chance you'll get a drop. Uh, though keep in mind if you're soloing, you might not even be able to get a kill because it's very tough in 07. Um, Zamrak's not really worth doing, other than it's any of these bosses are worth doing, but he's one of the more annoying ones. And unless you have a group of friends who are willing to help you out, uh, it's not too fun to kill him. Although it's it's not a complete waste of your time because the kill count is very quick. Uh, Sad Omen, like I said, it, you can go there, get some Sarasaurs, maybe a help, but the 70 agility is going to turn away a lot of people, and Armadillo is certainly a good option if you really want to go hardcore. So uh, let's go back to the main game. So that was my basic uh, kind of overview of everything about the Gower's Dungeon. Uh, like I said, this guide doesn't cover really specifics, um, but it does give you a good idea of how, what you should be doing, uh, some ideas of what you might want to do. Uh, like I said, guys, it's very good to have a plan. Uh, for example, when Old School RuneScape came out, there's um, Rune Shark, a lot of you guys know. They had a plan of getting 85 Slayer really quickly. Um, they knew what quest they were going to do. They had it all planned out, you know, choreographed beforehand, and they were the first ones with 85 Slayer compared to people who just said, ah, fuck it, I'll go do some Slayer. They, they kind of got left behind in the dust. Um, but, yeah, definitely make a plan. Definitely do the Eager's Ruse quest, because if you don't do that, you're going to take, take a long walk. And if you don't do that, you do need to do uh, Death Plateau. That's certainly something you need. Also, keep in mind, a good thing to have for a lot of these bosses is high defense, high attack. Because strength really isn't going to help you out. You'll hit a little bit higher, but um, these bosses, very high defense, very high attack power. So if you can... Uh, take some more hits and uh, deal some more damage more accurately. It's it's a lot more important than hitting 31 instead of 30. So uh, Pures, like Berserker Pures, are uh, not really too practical for a lot of things in the God Wars dungeon other than uh, mages if you if you use prayer. So attack and defense, combat levels in general going to help you out a lot. Uh, high HP is always good and you definitely need good armor. Borrows, like I'm wearing here, is usually good. Like for Bandos, this would be like a pretty good setup for killing Bandos. Although you can use the Rune Defender as well. Because um, you get defense for pretty much all things. Like, look at that. I have decent mage defense, really strong melee defense, and good range defense. It's all uh, all in one. So yeah, guys, definitely make a plan. you got time to get 83 Slayer if you want to do that. Um, if not, yeah, I mean, I, I'll definitely make specific guides because, like, this isn't a, a specific guide for God Wars. It's just kind of a huge overview of, of my best attempt at making that. I think this guide was pretty good. But when the God Wars Dungeon actually comes out, if it comes out, uh, it has to pass 70, more than 75% of players have to agree on it, which in the RuneScape community, that's kind of hard to do. So there's always a chance that it won't pass. But I'm hopeful that it will pass a poll. There hasn't been a formal poll yet as of uh, August 21st. Um, but yeah, hopefully it will. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this guide and you want to see uh, more specific guides when the Gowers Dungeon comes out, for example, I can do a Bando solo guide. I could do a 
uh, spiritual mages guide and aviancy's guide I can definitely check I can definitely make those guides uh, when or if the God Wars dungeon comes out but other than that guys uh, expect 85 Slayer soon for me hopefully still a bit more XP but it's only one more level so it won't be too long and uh, check out my live streams down below on twitch.tv uh, follow me on there if you want to see those soon and uh, follow me on Twitter down below at AndrewAJT62 also join my friend chat AndrewAJT62 same as my YouTube name like this video if you enjoyed if you made it through this video I think I deserve a, uh, a quick tap of the like, like button and if you haven't already if you just found this video be sure to subscribe for uh, future videos I got plenty more in the works so I'll see you guys later have a good one